The body fate, what a skill move this is, and it's a necessity to burst into space this year. Let's break it down. To perform the body feint, all you need to do is flick to the side of where the player is facing with the right stick and then point the left and log stick to the direction that you want to exit after performing the body feint. Okay, and with the right stick, look, if it doesn't register the first time when you flick it once, flick it twice to the side of where the player is facing, so either 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock and then exit, because it will actually register a lot better if you flick it twice. I found doesn't always register when you flick it once. So twice will definitely register the body fade. Now in terms of the best places to use this skill move, in my opinion, it's in the midfield. And the reason being is because obviously dribbling isn't as agile this year compared to previous years. So we need skill moves to burst into space and exploit that space past the defender. Usually dribbling, you could faint them away and you can do it to an extent this year, but skill moves are useful for this this year. So essentially the body feint is really good for that. You can body feint into the direction, into the space that's available, okay, pass the defender, and then essentially you'll be good to go into that space and you'll be able to pass and bypass that defender. Now the best time to use this is pretty much when that defender is not too close to you but not too far away. If he's too close, sometimes it won't react quick enough when you exit and it will be tackled and then obviously too far away, well then it's readable, okay? So let's say a meter in game, all right? And when he's approaching, you hit the body feint into the space and it's very, very useful. And I found the execution this year is actually quite quick in nature, which means it's a skill move that's definitely viable in FIFA 23. Moving into the ratings, of course, as we do for every skill move, execution and animation, I'm giving this a four out of five simply because of how quick it is. The animation is very quick this year compared to previous years, so I really do like it. It almost reminds me of the body feint in FIFA 16. All right, so it's not bad. Easiness to perform, we'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's quite easy. It just sometimes doesn't register, so make sure you flick in it twice. And then beating defenders, let's give it a 3 out of 5. It's not the greatest beating defenders. What it's great at is bursting into the available space. That's what I like about it this year. And then creating space, we're giving it a 4. Okay, 4 out of 5, because it is actually quite good at creating space and bursting into that space, if you know what I mean. Overall... It's a 3.75 out of 5, in my opinion. You know, you could give it a 4, but, you know, as an average, it's around that 3.75 to 4 out of 5. So, that's not a bad skill move this year, to be honest with you. I do like it, the body feint, and the execution is very quick. So, definitely one for you guys to use. But I'm coaching one-on-one -on, -one on Patreon.com. Many testimonials proving I've taken people from Div 10 to Elite in months. It can be done. If you want to be a part of that, the link is down below in the description. I've also got some coaches over there, including Footwiz Dylan. I've also got a mentality coach over there. So if you want to work on, me, on your mentality, we're doing daily tips for that. The link is down below. Of course, follow me on Instagram as well. Keep in touch with the No Money Spent Road to Event series. All right. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.